my people how are you all doing happy new year year 2024 how are you guys doing over there hope you're good hmm. you guys this week here on fubara case it's just it's just intertwined like everything is just yam pepe scatter scatter it is somehow you guys if you've been watching all of my videos there was a time i posted a video daily after fubara signed that agreement i expressed how you know the agreement wasn't favoring him in any way and apart from the fact that you know the agreement wasn't in its favor in any way i also expressed that you know those people those clique who have stood by him in the times that he had the major crisis with his boss his godfather yelsom wiki i said that you know those people will now be at crossfire because how can you stand with somebody and at the end of the day, the 27 defected lawmakers are now the ones that are going to be benefiting. It's like they are the ones at advantage, which is making those other people, those is cliques who stood by him in times of trouble. It is now, those people are now like, you know, how are they going to feel? It's not, also not going to favor them, you know. Besides, you know, we, uh, after those 27 lawmakers defected from the PDP, there was he was the one who who did the kangaroo governor. He was already the speaker. He was, you know, at least he would have been happy within him that okay, as things are progressing like this, I can, you know, retain this speakership position, and you know, my fellow people who were supporting us during the crisis period they would also remain and those 27 people would you know would not benefit in any way but as it's out now it is looking like you know those 27 people who defected from the party and how is, how is that going to look on those who by for barra all through the crisis period it's just not it's just not going to look well Anyway, before we dive right into the details of today's news, if this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe, like this video, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Lastly, don't forget to also turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Breaking news, after speaker loyal to him resigned, Governor Fubara addresses possibility of quitting. Barely 24 hours after Edison a year, the House of Assembly Speaker loyal to him resigned. The River State Governor Seminalai Fubara has assured that no amount of political crisis can truncate the tenor of his administration. A report by Vanguard newspaper for Barra assures that he is not pretentious about his commitment to providing quality leadership. He said those fighting his administration want to dampen the spirit of Rivers people and forci forcefully truncate the pace of development but have failed. He encouraged Rivers people not to be disheartened over the ongoing crisis because nothing will stop him from steering the affairs of the state successfully. Governor Fubara made this known while speaking at the crossover church service at St. Paul's Archdiocese Parish in Opobo Town on 2024 New Year's Eve in Opobo Onkoro local government area. He said, and I quote, what they want is this red barrel, but it is still with me. We are the winners because we are still signing with red barrel. As long as we are signing with the red barrel, development will continue in River State. Governor Fubara emphasized that nothing will stop his administration from getting to its destination because its foundation is laid solidly in God who alone will give the grace to complete the process of building. The governor will say that there is already a design development agenda and level of progress determined for River State in 2024, 
stress that it will not relent in working for the good of the state. Fubara expressed gratitude to President Bola Tinobu for the fatherly role he played when he intervened to assist in the process of restoring peace in River State. He said, and I quote, Like I keep saying, it takes a responsible man to be a father. He, President Tinobu, acted like a father. On our part, we will continue to give him all the necessary support because if he does not succeed in River State, he will not succeed as president. So as, as a state, we will continue to give him every support. We are not pretenders. Our support is genuine and it is to uplift its programs. Our sacrifices are part of the support. Furthermore, Governor Fubara expressed gratitude to River's people for their unwavering support, describing them as believers in true River State. He urged them to trust the decisions that he makes. Earlier, Newsroom Nigeria reported that Ehie resigned from his position as the Speaker of the State Assembly and also quit his membership as a lawmaker representing Ahoada East Constituency 3. This was disclosed in a letter Ehie personally addressed to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, a here is a loyalist of Governor Fubara. Newsroom Nigeria also reported that River State elders and leaders issued warning to Fubara against implementing President Tinubu's eight points resolution. Now, this is it. I feel that moving forward, anybody that is going to stand solidly behind Fubara should be a lot. Like, <laughs> I do not think that is even going to, you know, if all of this blows up. I don't pray for it to, you know, blow up. Or if, when Nessie has a crisis with Wiki, which I think is imminent anyway, before his tenure ends, I don't see how him and Wiki are not going to still have any other crisis. If eventually they do have a crisis, it will be very difficult for anyone to stand solidly behind Fubara. Because, you know, they've already seen how solidly supporting him against Fubara would not serve them right. Like, how can you solidly stand behind somebody and at the end of the day, that person goes ahead to sign an agreement that is in no way in their own favor, not to even talk of in your own favor. Like, that is not even logical in any way. You all, let me have your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.